because most of you probably don't have drawers or shelves full of origami paper sitting at home, this should probably have been the first video instead of the fourth one about learning to fold origami. I wanted to show you how to cut squares from any kind of paper. As long as you have a piece of paper that has two straight edges, um, the first method will work. And if you have a gridded measuring cutting mat, then you can make any piece of paper work. And that's part of the beauty of what I love about origami is that I call it art within reach because it's for people of all ages, pretty much anywhere in the world. And you can use any kind of paper as well as finding instructions online or at your local library when they're open for free. Um, you know, you can learn from books. So it's not like another kind of art where, say for instance, I also paint and you have to be able to afford canvases and paint and brushes and probably lessons. With origami, all you need is a piece of paper. It could be a piece of copy paper or part of you know, junk mail or a catalog or a food wrapper. You can buy origami paper that's already pre-cut into squares of varying thicknesses and textures and qualities. You could buy large sheets of origami paper and fine art papers and cut them down. So the possibilities are quite endless of what you can use as a medium. I've even used plastic, clear plastic, to fold cranes with. And I once folded a maple leaf just to see if I could. Pretty much there are no limits. It's whatever you imagine you can fold. If you can get your hands on it, you can probably fold it. Thank you. 